What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of My Summer Car. Once again, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated because this is going to be the second to last episode on My Summer Car. Today, we're going to spend some time on the car itself. In the next episode, we're going to finally complete the storyline for the game. Now, with that being said, I know there's going to be a handful of people that are just not really going to understand why I'm not going to continue playing and, and why I'm not doing this, why I'm not doing that. You know, some people are going to say, hey, 2G, you can't quit the game because you haven't done XYZ yet. Now, I know a lot of you have some suggestions on stuff that you would like to see me do, but if you guys missed the previous episode, I am I'm kind of at my wit's end with this game. I, I'm just ready for it to be over. I'm ready for it to be done with. And, uh, well, you know what? I feel like episode, what is this, 38? 38, 39, 40-ish? I mean, that's a pretty good series, right? That's a pretty good length. But enough jibber-jabber. Today, we're going to be focusing on the Satsuma itself, making sure that it is ready to rock for our very, very big date with Suski. This is going to be our first actual date, the first date date we had was actually just murdering her boyfriend and then taking her almost lifeless body back to our house where she just took a nap woke up wrote us a note and then said hey see ya hopefully i'll see you around the block to my surprise suski is actually very particular with the vehicles that she will enter you guys may remember a few episodes back we saw her outside of quavo's shop and we all we did was pull up i didn't ask her to get in i didn't ask her to do anything and she's like yeah I'm not getting in that hunk of junk, like that that type of deal, right? So it turns out there's like a whole list of things that she requires in order to get inside of our vehicle, okay? Here it is. First, a beer case in the footwell. That's the only way to initiate the actual date with her. She just loves brewskis. Next, leopard print car covers. So there's seat covers, dash covers, uh, steering wheel cover, I think. we. I don't think we can use the steering wheel cover, We'll figure it out. Then we have a CD player, which is not the default radio that we have in the vehicle right now. We need tinted windows and a sound system. The sound system is going to consist of two subwoofers, a amplifier, and the subwoofer panel, which we never did install because we kind of removed the back seats to get the roll cage and whatnot. Speaking of back seat, I don't think we can just throw that that back seat back in the vehicle, dude. Hopefully she doesn't care. Oh God. Okay, let's actually look at the seat covers first because I'm really hoping that she doesn't care about the back seat since we can't like put it back in right now. Okay, good. There's not even a seat cover for the rear, so that works out. But you guys can see here, we have the leopard print steering wheel cover, which we're probably gonna need the stock steering wheel for that. We'll try to install it on the, um, what do we have right now? The racing steering wheel or the rally wheel? Yeah, we have the the Pro State. That's right, the Pro State branded steering wheel. So we'll see if it fits on that. If not, no big deal. We'll swap it out. We got two other steering wheels in the garage to choose from. And then what else am I missing? I feel like I feel like I missed going over one thing. Oh, right. And then pink paint. Once we go to Quavo's shop to actually pick up these parts we're gonna purchase today, I'm gonna try to get a can of pink paint. Not for the body kit. I know a lot of you wanted to see a pink body kit, this sort of trim on the bottom side that we installed a few episodes back. You guys really wanted to see that in pink. I don't know why. We're not doing that. Kind of a waste of paint. But what I will do is paint our new rims bright pink. Maybe, if they're if they're paintable. Somebody told me that they were, and for right now, I've I've taken their word for it. But let's go back into the parts catalog, dude. We'll get all the stuff and the things ordered up. So first page, don't need anything there. Don't need anything there. Let's go through the list again. We have tint. Okay, let's get tint put on the list. I don't need the steering wheel. And then she likes leopard print specifically. So we have, I don't know what this is, Cipra? I, I'm assuming that's the pink one. And then leopards in the center with ply, ply she. Probably butchering the pronunciation on that, but I don't even care, dude. That one looks more like a zebra. We're gonna get the leopard one for 295 there. We're gonna get the, oh, let's get two seat covers, right? Cause they're probably sold, yes, right here. Sold individually, so we'll get two of those. Wait, why you no work? No? We'll get one of them, I guess? I, yeah, we'll get one of them. Cause it's for her, right? We don't have to change our seat, I don't think. We'll find out. And then the steering wheel cover. Okay, so that is four items already off the list. 
what else we got here so this is the cd player now the cd player is really cool because you can actually like import music files into the into the game files and then the cds actually become usable and you can listen to whatever music you imported kind of cool i'm not going to take the time to do it but we do need a cd player we don't have any cds to even play and then we need two subwoofers and that comes with the amplifier as well for 1995. And there's a couple of other cool things that we could probably purchase, but I'm just not going to like the racing carb, the nitrous kit, I mean, so on and so forth. But what I will do, let's actually put that in our backpack, is go over to our mailbox. And you guys may remember there's a there's like an advertisement type thing that was put in our mailbox for a computer of sorts. So I think today we're finally going to order ourselves a computer. And I accidentally did this like a long, long, long time ago. So I think this should be the envelope. Maybe. Oh, come to think of it, can we put two envelopes in his little drop slot at a time? Or will that freak him out? Oh, Suski's here. Well, uh, good. I'm glad I didn't bring my car then because it's not quite ready yet. And then you just kind of get pissed that it's not ready and end up leaving. However, we can drop our two envelopes on the ground. Let's see if we can put both of these in. Obviously, oh, that was kind of an oopsie. Obviously, we can't do it at the same time. Can't lift both of them at the same time. But we'll do one. There we go. And then let's drop the other one again. Accidentally picked it back up. And we'll try to drop this one in as well. Perfect. Okay, so that should be all the car parts that we just ordered as well as the computer. This is going to be a very very expensive bill, but now we wait. Okay, it is now 10 a.m. on Thursday. Different day, but the same week, if that makes sense. We're gonna go in and see if Quavo is ready for us. Suski has disappeared, so that's that's a good sign. We'll see if he has... Oh, he has both of them! Yes, dude! Okay, good. I love how he always, like, tries to say, hey, how's it going? And then he realizes that it's the scumbag that stole his slot machine next door and then he's just like yeah whatever don't care about you with that being said we're not going to be getting any discounts from Quavo today but we can pay our first post order of 4172 that's going to be for the parts they say fuel they say fuel price is high i say they haven't seen anything yet it will cost more than milk one day and now that he's done with all his dialogue we can hopefully pay for the computer next i think that's what this is anyway 6555 Buckaroonies, so that puts us down to 57,000 now, and I think everything should be out there. Yeah, Quavo? Everything everything okay, dude? And see, and now he just gets really, really quiet and, and doesn't have anything to say to us. Thank you, I think. Thank you for visiting. Okay, there. He's, he's actually being nice for once. All right, dude. Look at all this good stuff over here. Okay, this is a ATK Harry package. We haven't had this one yet, so I'm assuming that this is going to be the computer. Look at that! Oh my god, dude. Let's open up these next few packages here. Get that one. That's the subwoofers. And then this looks to be maybe the dash cover, maybe the seat cover. No idea what that one is yet. Okay. Yep. Love that. Gotta love that. This one is... A another cover of some sort and then this oh here we go that's the steering wheel cover that's window tint what do we got here open I don't understand why it works sometimes and then doesn't work other times oh that's the radio dang see I completely forgot what we ordered which is just sad we're gonna add all of these things to our backpack as well there we be and then these last few covers perfect okay dude we are ready to go home Get all this stuff installed. Let's actually head inside first so we can get the computer set up. I was thinking we were going to do it in the next episode, but it honestly makes more sense to do it today because tomorrow, or the next episode, I guess, is uh, is just going to take even longer. So where do we want this? We have a nice little desk in here. We could probably get it set up here. Let's open up our backpack. We have the monitor. We have the speakers, the case. And then the peripherals, I think is how you pronounce that. I, I can never remember for sure. Let's get the monitor set up first. We're just going to put that up here on the desk like so. A little bit more back. There we go. And then the keyboard and mouse, I'm just going to lay just in front of it. Okay, not, <laughs> not like that. Oh, you actually, 
Oh, I see. Okay, okay, I get it now. I get it now. Kind of making a little bit more sense. Depending on where you put the monitor, the other stuff will kind of snap to it. That's pretty neat. Unless the monitor's like the same thing and we and we did it wrong. I don't think so. All right, next we have the case. Where's the case gonna go? Okay, that's gonna snap into a position as well. Dude, what the heck is going on here? Can we actually push buttons and stuff? Yeah, reset power. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, and then speakers, those are probably gonna go. Oh, just on the, okay, the monitor definitely does not go there. Hang on. Okay, perfect, there it is. Why does the monitor go on top of the case? Uh, yeah, sure. That makes sense, I guess. And then this is a weird setup to have your keyboard and mouse on the left and then your monitor on your right. You're gonna be doing, you're gonna be doing this. You're gonna be typing over here. And looking over here, it doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. I've never seen anyone use a computer this way, but all right, that, yeah, that's cool, I guess. Enter play mode. What does that mean? What does that mean? Is that, am I sitting now? Am I sitting in the chair? What the heck? Okay, we're, we're loading the, the BIOS. Achievement unlocked. You have a computer. We sure do. All right, it's going through all the, uh, the startup stuff. That's good, that's good. Looks like we got a C drive there. Oh, wait, I'm actually, I'm typing stuff. The system cannot find the path specified. What the heck, dude, I can actually. And it makes noises in the game. This is, okay, this is actually kind of sick. So what do we, what do we need to access? All right, let's give this one a go. Uh, looks like. We have P piano and tele tele BBS piano. Let's try piano first. Piano. Oh, it's a piano, not a piano. Press enter. Okay, so we. <laughs> what the heck is this, dude? We have piano. Um, can I click on the screen? No. Can I use the mouse? No. Okay. How do I enter? Oh, duh, it's it's literally right there. Press Z, X, C, or V to toggle the instruments. All right, and then C, D, E, F, got it, got it, got it. Got the drum kit. Yeah, that one's dumb. Let's try human. So this is literally a soundboard, is what it is. Synth? Synth has got to sound pretty sick, huh? I don't know any- I don't know any songs on piano, dude. I'm trying to do power chords. <laughs> I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's go to piano. Okay, there we go, there we go. Can we do some, some hot cross buns up in here? Yeah, good enough. <laughs> good enough, I'll take it. Okay, so this has been piano. Um, how do I... How do I go back? Oh god, we're still playing. Jesus Christ. Maybe just reset? Should we just reset it? I I, I just want to see what the other one does and then we'll actually go work on the Satsuma, okay? I promise. Promise. Starting up the operating system. There we go. So the next one is... Tele-BBS. When I first read that, I thought it said Teletubbies. Not connected. What do you mean, not connected? Tele-BBS is a bulletin board dialer that can be used to connect to bulletin board services, namely the Conline BBS. There's only one number that can be dialed, Conline BBS. The number can be found written on a note inside the empty hall next to the inspection shop. Or we could just look it up. So now we just need to type 938, and then the rest of the numbers can be random, I guess? So let's do 112029. 112029. Does that work? Incorrect command. Oh, okay. A T D T space 938 112029. Establishing connection. What? 
What is this? What is this? Could not connect. Okay, I don't I don't get it. All right, yeah, there is a there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with the computer. I really am not that interested in uh, in checking out anything else on there. I mean, it's it's cool concept. Don't get me wrong, definitely a cool concept, but um, just not really feeling it. You know, not in the mood. So, with that being said, let's go back outside and do what we came here to do, which is finally work on the Satsuma. Now, the only thing that we're doing today is cosmetic. Nothing is gonna make us faster, but what it will do is hopefully win Suski's heart, which is all that we're trying to accomplish right now. First up, I think let's get the subwoofer panel, and we're gonna throw this in the back, see if it mounts up. We tried this once before and uh, and didn't have, ooh, didn't have a whole lot of luck. There it is. There it is, first try, baby. So with that done, we should have all the connections we need in the back for this stuff. Oh, right, we gotta do the CD player first, and then we're gonna need the subwoofer right, subwoofer left, and then the amplifier. Okay, all of that stuff. So let's see about removing the original radio. I actually don't know how to go about doing this. Can I just like disconnect it somehow, or I gotta put my whole face in here? I wonder if there's screws or something. Oh, here we go, radio, boom, got it. Wait, but where did it go? Oh no, oh no, it's tweaking. Oh, it's tweaking so hard. Hang on, I'm coming, buddy, I'm coming. Can we get it, can we get it? Wait for it, wait for it, right there, got it. Okay, now we'll take our new CD player and, uh, and hopefully put this bad boy right up in where the old radio was, perfect. And then let's check the plugs on the back, everything looks solid there. All right, we're gonna try opening up the trunk because it doesn't look like we can access much from the backside of the vehicle. Oh, hang on, right here, right in the center. There it is. Okay, there's some bolts here though. What do we got? Size five, perfect. Go, got one bolt over there and then one bolt over here. That should be all of them, I think. And now that we have the amplifier wired up at least, because we already had the wires run for everything. We were just missing the amp. So now that we have that put in, I think we'll be able to actually add these subwoofers so let's pop back up in here this is right side left side does it even matter okay not that side there it is okay we got one done dude so the left is actually the right and the right is actually the left because the one we just put in is the right but it's on the left side of the vehicle not that important just something i thought i'd point out there we go okay so we have both subwoofers now installed we got our amp we got our cd player oh dude i forgot to buy pink paint Oh my god, I'm such a freaking doofus. Okay, let's go get some pink paint really quick. Hey, Suski's back. That's great. That's great. That's really, really great. All right, let's see. Pink spray paint. We just need the one can. Thank you so much. Get that added. And I appreciate you, Quavo. I, I really do. Okay, now that we have our paint, let's go ahead and drop that shopping bag on the ground. Open her on up. Perfect, there we be. So somebody had told me the back panel here is actually sprayable. Except I don't know if it's sprayable now that we've already installed it. Let's try to do this subwoofer panel. Okay, I'm just gonna stand right here and we'll try to spray it pink, hopefully. There it is, there it is, dude. And it got rid of the like plywood texture too. It actually looks Kind of nice now. I I kind of dig that, honestly. Okay, next we're going to try to spray all the wheels. People were trying to tell me I don't need to take the wheels off to spray them. Uh, I'm pretty sure I do, though. We can try it anyways. No. Yeah, that's 100% that's not going to work. So we do actually have to unbolt the wheels in order to get them sprayed. I think, I don't know, unless I'm just not doing this right put my whole face into the wheel and it still doesn't work. So yeah, I'm assuming they at least need to be unbolted. So let's do that really quick and then we'll uh, we'll spray those bad boys also. Okay, so I haven't actually unmounted or, or dismounted the wheel, but it looks like if you just back the bolts out, you can then kind of see that it'll say wheel at the bottom and now I think it'll be sprayable. So let's go get that spray paint can and we'll see what happens, dude. I got I got a good feeling about it though. Got a really good feeling about it. Oh, yep, yep, that's pretty rad, dude. Oh man, that looks fresh. That looks so fresh. Okay, we're gonna drop the spray paint down. I'm gonna finish the other wheels here. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, let's get her lowered back down. We'll see what she looks like, dude. I'm gonna close the door on up on this side so we get a better idea of 
how it's actually gonna look. Oh my god, dude. Suski's gonna lose her freaking marbles. She's not gonna know what to think. This is the hottest car in Finland, period. Don't try to change my mind, dude. This thing, super hot boy, super hot boy. But we're not even done, dude. We're not even close to done yet. We have to get the passenger seat. It's gonna be this one. We gotta get this thing thrown back in. Or should we put, should we put the seat cover on before we put it in the vehicle? I, it probably doesn't matter. Toss that in there, okay. And then these are what size? We'll just get this other seat installed here or secured anyways these dude these things are so hard there we go to find the these back ones because they have this dumb little plastic thing right here on the edge that totally hides the bolt you can hardly see it but there we go we have the passenger seat reinstalled we got to go inside though really quick and just get a just get a quick sip from the tap you guys know the deal and then in our backpack we still have the black wrap that's going to be the window tint got the seat cover dash cover and why did I put the, when did I put the ratchet set in our backpack? And where did our steering wheel cover go? Dude, dude, do not mess with me right now. Oh my God, oh my God, dude. My summer car is really, really yanking my chain right here, my guy. Zero items in my backpack, okay? And we only have two out of the three covers that we purchased. I know, I know for a fact we unpackaged it. Realistically, do I think we could have put it on our existing wheel? Absolutely not. But it's the fact that we bought something and now it's just disappeared. It's like it's been, it's like it's been replaced with the, the ratchet set. I really don't remember ever picking that up or ever putting it in the backpack anyways. Um, let's see, let's look inside really quick and then I'm gonna go back over to Quavo's shop yeah, dude, I haven't even been inside the house hardly. Let's uh, come back in here. No? There it is. There it is. I see it. How did it get back there? <laughs> Who? Dude, someone's messing with me. All right? Somebody is messing with me hard. And then, hang on just a gosh darn second. You're telling me we don't have a single outlet and we don't, we don't have a single outlet in our bedroom, dude. So they have this, like, long extension cord going out into the hallway trying to connect into this single outlet where the phone's already connected to. We'd almost have to do this, but it was still working, which is just kind of weird. Anyways. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, there, oh, I unplugged the phone and then it didn't want to go back in. Now that we have our seat cover, let's go ahead and drop that as well. We're gonna pick this thing up, see if we can't put it on our, uh, our sweet steering wheel, our, our racing steering wheel, I doubt it. Let's try her out anyways. Yes, this does not work. Next then, we'll try the GT steering wheel. See if it'll fit on there. Negative Ghost Rider or... There we go. Okay, factory steering wheel only. So unfortunately, we are gonna have to remove... Come on. We are gonna have to remove the rally wheel. But it's all good, it's all good. Let's get the ratchet sets. Or what size is the hub bolt for this thing? I thought it was like a 10 maybe? Yeah, there we go, all right. Pop that steering wheel off, make sure we throw it outside. And then let's get the original, the original bad boy right here. We're gonna get that thing mounted up right there. Make sure we get that bolt re-secured. Kind of, kind of a pain in the butt, you know, to have your steering wheel come off on you while you're driving. So we wanna make sure that's nice and snug on there. All right, one of those covers down, two more to go, dude. Two more covers remain. Oh, and then we gotta do window tint, that's right. Okay, so this is the dash cover. This one should be pretty straightforward. We just have to, there we go, apply it to the dash. That looks insane. That honestly looks insane. Let's see what the seat cover looks like first before I say that I like it, because this thing's probably gonna look super gaudy. Let's try that right there. Okay, seat goes forward, goes back. Not bad, not bad. You know what, if Suski enjoys it, that's the only thing that matters, right? It, it doesn't matter if we're crazy about it. It just matters if she will even take the time to get in the vehicle and, and go for a ride with us. And then the window tint, I think we just have to apply that to each and every window, right? Let's do, wait, does it use a whole roll? What the heck, dude? Okay, it doesn't use a whole roll, but that was kind of weird. It must only do the back few win- it does! It only does the back few windows because having the fronts done, that'd be very illegal. Let's 
put our tint away and then oh wait what hang on we only put one seat cover on is it still yeah it's still on there oh okay this is the game telling us hey man look you don't want that bucket seat you got to take that bucket seat out suski won't ride with you with the bucket seat so we're gonna take the game's word for it and uh i guess we'll pull this pull this bad boy on out of there dang so that means no more racing harnesses i'm a little sad i'm a little sad but it's okay it's for a good cause, you guys. It's for a good cause. Okay, got the bucket seat out. Now we gotta figure out how to remove these harnesses. I actually don't remember. Is it just on the back here? Oh, size eight, of course, of course. One bolt and two bolts. Oh yeah, kind of forgot about the bottom ones. Three bolts and wait for it. There it is, four bolts, perfect. Okay, now we can dismount that, I believe. No, no, why you? There it is. Okay. Get that freshie put in there. Dang, dude. That's that's big pimping. This is big pimp mobile now. Okay, dude. There you guys have it. I think we got everything checked off the list. I mean, I've emptied my backpack now, and I'm pretty sure we got everything installed in the Satsuma. The only thing left now is we just got to put a couple of things back in the garage. But... With that being said, I think this is where we're going to wind down this episode at for today. Once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.